Hello, it's Maria here, just giving you a quick preview of this painting, very colourful, kind of yellowish painting with wildflowers. And uh, thank you for joining me today. And I hope you like this painting. Um, it's just at the moment, I'm. it's, it's a large square canvas. I'm putting down a colourful background. Um, using the warmer kind of pinks and purples and as usual I start usually start the paintings in acrylic paint and as I go on I start introducing oil paints because I like the the vibrancy and the texture of the oil but often I will uh, just work in acrylics as well especially if I'm using paper um, so this is on canvas and now I'm beginning to add in those really bright yellows that kind of uh, stay in the painting really to the very end. And for the subject matter, um, as I was working on it, these flower heads began to emerge. Um, I wasn't really planning them, but um, so these big flowers began to emerge and I was wondering, what kind of flowers could I use, you know, to study, to use in this painting? And I was looking at lupins, but I wanted to kind of stick with wildflowers. So I have books of wildflowers and they were reminding me of wildflowers, some sort of wildflowers I had seen growing in the countryside, but often in the countryside, when you're walking along the hedgerows and the ditches and you're looking at the wildflowers, often they are not, they are actually cultivated flowers. They're not, you wouldn't categorize them as wildflowers, but they end up growing wild in the ditches. <laughs> so sometimes it's very hard to tell whether it is a real pure, rare wildflower or whether it's something that was growing in somebody's garden nearby and blew into the ditches and just started to take over. And there's so many uh, flowers like that in Ireland that started in the in cultivated estates by la big landowners brought them in from um, from England and other parts of the world, um, plants that they had been cultivating. Um, and one of them is the Montbretia. It's an orange flower. And it's just really grows wild all over the hedgerows, especially in the south of Ireland, maybe all over Ireland, but especially see them in the south, a beautiful orange flower. And it just grows abundantly and we have it in our garden and it starts flowering late summer into right into the autumn. And it's a beautiful flower, but that was a cultivated flower. And I think the fuchsia, which is, um, a kind of a, a pinkish, a deepish pink flower that grows in bushes and the in, in the hedges in Ireland. The fuchsia as well is another one that is a cultivated one, but it is, it is growing wild. Um, the rhododendrons are other ones, um, the big purple ones, and there's so many um, that we now see growing wild. So sometimes it's really hard to tell the difference. Um, what I was kind of doing, working here on the shapes that I was seeing coming through the painting, through the marks that I had been making and the through scratching back and doing the underpainting. Um, I was looking at these, they're really kind of interesting shapes. Um, but then I, I was looking at what kind of flowers were emerging from this. What was I going to what was it going to end up like? So it does really begin to to change as the flower shapes be, come into it. So this really still is um, the underpainting or just the, sometimes I just play around with shapes and colors and, and um, just mess around when I'm doing the underpainting. But as I go on, it really begins to change. And I love nature, so I'm always, I always just, I don't want to go too abstract. I want to stick with nature. And I felt these shapes started coming out, these branches, these, these leaf shapes. It actually started looking really, really tropical. 
um, to me and it was reminding me of something that you would see in near water you know and and often these ditches there are streams running along them that I would see along the roadsides when I'm going for walks here in Ireland um, especially in the summer in the countryside in County Kerry and then these flowers just I just emerged and um, I started to look them up and I realized that wild orchids actually look very very different to cultivated orchids so a lot of these type of flower shapes that I might have been looking at uh, in the hedgerows could have been wild orchids so I began to work on them um, I think I had three or um, maybe three or six of them in the beginning and then I thought no I want to make more so I put more in and um, so it, the yellows really come out in this painting as the painting goes on the kind of yellows begin to really emerge so here yeah I'm just layering I'm putting in various types of foliage uh, taking them out again um, if you look at the way I paint that's what I do um, I keep going, I put things in, I take them out until I'm satisfied and I'm happy with um, the overall uh, effect. And sometimes I put too much in and it becomes very busy and very cluttered. And then I have to roll back and take things out and simplify the painting. So I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to let the video run on now. It is speeded up. It's a time lapse. Um, there was a, a lot of work went into it. Um, it is quite a large-ish painting. Um, so if you if you like it and enjoy my videos, do subscribe and you'll see a lot more. Uh, you'll see them when they come out straight away and you won't miss them. And uh, like and share, uh, ask me questions. And uh, if you have any ideas of things maybe I haven't clarified or you'd like to hear more about, please let me know. So thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you again soon and goodbye and God bless.